basic creativity. Basics of creativity. Yes, sir. Identify and explain what creative communication is. Did we discuss that? Can you uh, highlight the thing we have to start? Okay, sir. Explain the nature of creative communication. Did we discuss that question? The basics of creativity. Understanding create that that's the topic. The basics of creativity is the topic. Understanding creativity involves knowing what makes a creative person and their work special. Creativity isn't easy to pin down because it can mean different things to different people. But to grasp it, we need to focus on the work itself, the thinking behind it, the person creating it, <coughs> and how it all comes together. Number one, creation. Creating something new is at the heart of creativity. It's about making something that hasn't existed before. You have, I, Oliver Singhala, you have learned these basic things. This could be a new idea, artwork or invention. It's a blend of skills, imagination, practice and personal vision. <laughs> different mediums require different approaches. So understanding the tools and technology is crucial. Number two, creativity. That's the other basic, other feature of creativity. Creativity is the ability to bring those new ideas to life. It's like a superpower that lets artists turn their thoughts into reality. It involves seeing the world in unique ways, spotting patterns others might miss, and finding solutions to problems. Leonardo da Vinci outlined several key aspects of creativity including curiosity, sensation, and making connections. Creative thinking, number three. Number three, creative thinking. Before creating something, a creator draws on their experiences, whether personal, learn from others, or through media. You can get experience by three things. Personal experience. Other people's experiences and mass media experiences. Television, cinema, novels, books, magazines, newspaper, ma media experiences. They imagine possibilities and visualize their ideas. This requires intuition, skill and practice. Creative thinking involves being open to new ideas flexible in thought and willing to explore different angles. Wait.
<clears throat> intuition means the ability i will send this note intuition means the ability to understand or know something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning intuition is often described as a gut feeling or instinct an immediate understanding without the need for logical analysis in singhala the term for intuition is abhiprerana it conveys a similar sense of, of immediate understanding or insight without the need for rational thought both like right just uh, remember that abhiprerana wait number four the creator the person behind the creation is just as important they are not just someone who makes things they are someone who brings their idea, un, unique perspective skills and experiences to their work becoming a creator takes time and effort learning from society culture and ongoing study everyone has some level of creative ability but it needs nurturing and flourish Number five, creative writing. Creative writing is one way creators express themselves. It's about crafting stories, poems, or other works in a unique style that grabs the reader's attention. This goal is to evoke emotions and stimulate the imagination. Creative writing can take many forms, from novels to scripts. and is of it often uses language in a way that's rich with meaning and emotion in a sense understanding creativity means appreciating the magic that happens when imagination meets skill and passion whether it's through writing art or innovation creativity shapes the world around us and opens new possibilities the basics of creativity again we are discussing in a simple in simple terms the knowledge of the basics of creativity includes the understanding of the main characteristics of the creative artists and creative work due to prevalence of varying ideologies it is difficult to identify a definite set of features of creativity in order to understand the concept creativity however the creative work that means the creation the creative thought creative thinking the artist or the creator and the creative composition are of paramount importance creation the meaning of creation is unprecedented which means not existed before me singhalen kiro me pera no viru kiyala meter kalin tibunne not existed before so it can be called as an innovation as well innovation finding th new thing last day i told you uh db sena nayaka wrote a short story called nidhane it's an innovation we have not heard a story like that before then lester james peeris recreates nidhane a short story into a film it has more artistic features than the short story so it's also some kind of an innovation a new idea taking the light from the short story but some kind of a new idea we can say a creation is different from what is existing a new entity creation the meaning of creation is unprecedented which means not existed before so it can be called an innovation as well a creation is different from what is existing a new entity a novelty 
Sunanda Mahendra. Sunanda should go there, not Mahendra. Sunanda Mahendra. What's his name? Sunanda Mahendra. Professor Sunanda Mahendra. Sunanda Mahendra states that as per the dictionary meaning, creations can be called as creating or generating. The Oxford Dictionary defines creation as the act of process of making the act or process of making something that is new. An unprecedented creation comes to be because of a person's creative abilities and skills. As such, a creation comes to be as a result of multiple factors, such as skills, intuition, imagination, proficiency, constant practice, and mastery, being well-versed as well as philosophical thoughts and objectives of an artist coming together. Right? An artist needs these things. Multiple factors. Skills. I want to write a novel. You want to write a novel. But only you have the skill. Intuition. Okay, I will write this. I watch this film. I will cre recreate another film. Intuition. You get the intuition from that film. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Imagination. You should imagine things. You can't write the same things which is, which is there. Right? You should imagine new things. Gamperaliya, Kaliyuge Yugante. Three novels were written by Martin Vikramasinghe. Gamperaliya is a novel which describes the downfall of the aristocratic society. Right? Radhala Pantheya Bindavatima. There's a one called Nanda. She belongs to an aristocratic family. Then Jinadasa also belonged to aristocratic family. Both of them get married. Both of them don't have enough money. Palau Akunata Saline Kale Kolo Bidavata no Tikatika. Dupate no eke. They become poor. Then uh, Jinadasa goes to an area called Singhale. I think Badul area from Mata Southern area to Badul area he goes <laughs> to do some business. Before the marriage, <clears throat> a person called Pial, who is a well educated person in the village, he belongs to a low, low caste. Nanda and Jinadasa belong to high caste. He knows English, Pial knows English. Because of English knowledge, the English government at that time in Sri Lanka, Ceylon, offer him a job. Then he does some other business also. He is a civil servant in one way, in one hand. On the other hand, he becomes a businessman. He becomes very rich. Those low high caste people become very poor because of their conservative ideas. They, however, the, the Nanda's mother doesn't give approval to uh, Pial at the beginning. Because he's a low caste person. So Nanda is married to Jinadasa. Jinadasa goes to the area called Singhale to do business. There he gets malaria, I think. Uh, no, as I remember, there's no news from him for a long time. They hear that he got malaria and died there. 
some somehow they get a telegram or something. Then after several years, Pierre asked from Nanda, and, and Nanda also get a child from Jinadasa. A child was born. Those days, uh, that's a long story. That child dies after several days because of an infection. That symbolizes aristocratic Nanda and aristocratic Jinadasa can't have a child. They can't continue their generation because the aristocratic system falls. Understood? Yes, sir. System falls. So, then after several years, Pial marries Nanda. Then Nanda is married to a rich family. But they can't continue their aristocratic system. Right? The, the aristocratic system turns into a capitalist system. That's the main idea of that novel, Gamperalia. Some people say the main character is the child who dies after several days. He's the main character in the novel. Why? He is the one who symbolizes Gam Peralia. The changing of the village, changing of the agricultural village into a capitalist city. Understood? Industrial city. So yes, that's sir. a new idea. That's a new idea. Thought by Martin Vignosing. Kali Yuga shows what is happening in the industrial, after the industrial revolution. What happens in the capitalist society. What are the good and bad things in capitalist society. <laughs> Kali Yuga symbolized that. Then Yugantya. Yugantya means the end of the age, the end of the capitalist age. That's the meaning of Yugantya. Yugantya symbolizes a person belongs to the capitalist society, becomes a socialist politician, then he wins the election. Despite of some obligations, even from his father, he wins the election. Capitalist society collapses and socialist society begins. That's the idea of Yugante. So these things we can't imagine. Martin Vikram Singh imagined that. If somebody else writes the same kind of a novel, that's not imagination. That's a copy. Understood? <laughs> So, can you repeat about Kali Yuga? Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga means in Hindu religion, Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga means an era where there are several bad things happen. 51%, more than 50% bad things happen in Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga represents the bad things about capitalist society. Understood? <clears throat> yes, sir. Gamperaliya, Kali Yuga, Yuga Anteya. What are the three novels? <laughs> Gamperaliya, Kali Yuga, Yuga Anteya. Written by? Martin? Sorry, good. Martin Vikramasinghe. Vikram Martin Vikramasinghe. So that is Martin Vikramasinghe's imaginations. Right? Proficiency. Other people can't imagine things like that. Somebody else will write a greater novel than that in some other way. But that thing, another person can't imagine. Proficiency. Right? 
before becoming an artist, before becoming an, a good creator, you must have the proficiency. Life experiences, experiences from friends, experiences from mass media, continuous writing, Leonardo da Vinci continuous drawing, <laughs> Beethoven continuously creating, con continuously composing music, right? <clears throat> Proficiency. Proficiency comes from constant practice. Understood? Yes, sir. Being well-versed. Master means being well-versed. You must read a lot of things. You must watch a lot of films to become a good creator. As well as philosophical thought and objectives of an artist coming together. The term creation is used differently in different media when making creative work for different media. The artist should have a thorough understanding of both media and media technology. Number two, creativity. Creativity is the skill and the strength a creative artist possesses to craft a creation. It is known as intuition. Creativity is the skill and the strength a creative artist possesses. Right? Skill. That skill is uh, known as intuition. In the oriental aesthetics and is further described as something inherited and a blessing as well. It's a blessing from your previous birth. Christians may believe creativity come from God. Come from the God. It's a blessing from the God. Creativity. Intuition. Buddhists may believe intuition come from the good deeds they have done in their previous birth. Understood? Yes, sir. It is a quality that results from a person's inner awakening, imaginative powers and insight. The main features of creativity can be considered as the ability to perceive the world in an unprecedented manner, to see its hidden, hidden patterns, to innovate relations between entities that seem otherwise distant and to be able to solve problems. Leonardo da Vinci identifies seven elements of creativity. The Italian painter da Vinci is known to have been knowledgeable in music, sculpture, mathematics, engineering, astronomy, geography and botany. His views on painting can be used in the field of media in modern times as well. Curiosity, demonstration, sensation, sfumato, balance of art and science, balance of body and mind, connections. You have to remember these things, study by heart. <coughs> In addition, the following has been identified as significant in engaging in creative work through various studies. Sensation. Leonardo da Vinci says six things, understood, seven things, understood? Yes, sir. Curiosity, demonstration, sensation, sumato, sfumato, balance of art and science. Balance of body and mind. Connections. Other people say some other things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ideas. Sensation, imagination, cognition, perception, reappraisal, topical exploration, constant practice, skills and use. It is very useful to be en enriched by the knowledge of the basics such as the about the effective exploration of language for operatory purposes, writing and performances. Creative thinking we are discussing now. A creation comes to be as a self-expression of a creator. 
to this end, the creator makes use of his experi experiential knowledge that comes to him in three main ways. One's own experiences. Experiences from 